We got the Valiant Summit. James Gunn is going full boil on Guardians. And Michael Keaton is still killing people. <sighs> Let's do this. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one else, so hone it down, bring you that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, we're going to get into dropping jewels. And that's pretty much during the week. A lot of things going on that we just can't catch up with because nerd soul is not that huge of an organization. But guess what? On Friday, we get to catch up on the little things that we think are cool. And first up, we're going to be talking about, that's right, Valiant Summit this year, 2017. Big shout out to Hyper RPG and the whole crew and staff at Hyper RPG and at Valiant that brought together all this news, you know, just for us to enjoy and, and get into and, and revel in, if you will. <laughs> and I guess the cool thing about this is because Valiant plan so far in advance that they can kind of be like yo this is our year this is what's going on for like the next year and you know they can bring it to us and kind of get us hype on the writers like matt kent that came through and like you know different artists and like show a couple pages and this that the third and it it's, it helps out a lot you know what i'm saying it's real fun uh they did it on a twitch live stream again and it's just it's real cool to see kind of like where they're navigating the ship as they go along through this journey. And it's a whole lot of fun. Now, there's a couple of things that I picked out that I thought were extremely cool, like Rapture, uh, which is Shadow Man and Ninjak are gonna be combined in this kind of like story that's going to be blending their talents and also blending some of their personalities as well because they're not too keen on each other. But the cool thing is that we get to see Shadow Man again, and you guys know that I'm a huge Shadow Man fan. I read the first volume through End Times, really enjoyed it, had a ball. You guys know I love supernatural action. Also that he's a man of color does not hurt either. Um, but that's not the only Shadow Man news. Shadow Man is coming back next year in March. That is right. He will be back in an ongoing and I, I can't be more excited because I'm not really too hype. My entry point to Valiant was Shadow Man. So my, a lot of people's entry point might have been Bloodshot or Ninjak. Mine was Shadow Man. So like, that's my dude. You know what I'm saying? So it's just good to see him coming back. But on top of that, we get to hear about Ninja K, which is a cool way that they're turning the story around for Ninjak, meaning that K is the, the I guess, the number of ninja that he is inside of this ninja program. Like there was ninja A through K. So he's just the, you know, the, the newest, I guess, you know, the newest assassin for British intelligence. And it's, you know what, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. It's, it's a nice twist to see that there's a, a deeper story around what he's doing, maybe the, some more lineage to it. And this is, good for me and it bodes very well because this is a character that I've never been interested in. I'm sorry, I've never been interested in Ninjak. Um, it kind of harkens back to the whole Iron Fist thing and I'm just not, I was never really into him. But when they dropped this news, I was like, you know what? That's kind of cool. I like that twist on it. I like that take. So I'm probably going to pick up Ninja K and see what I think about it. I'll let you guys know in Talk Shop on Wednesdays, but keep your eyes peeled for that too, because that sounds like a lot of fun. Now, we did get a little bit of news on Quantum and Woody on the sneak tip. See, the TV show seems to be having producers <laughs> that are not only dope, but extremely dope. Some of the TV show's producers are the Russo brothers, and you might know them from like Modern Family, community but you might also know them from the marvel universe and they did winter soldier and they also did civil war so if you like those films and you like what you saw there that bodes extremely well for quantum and woody so before i go forward i gotta remind you guys to always hit up black hollywood live that's right that's where you can find me because they are the first online network for african americans and it's super dope because you can check them out online doing everything from celebrity interviews black twitter geek nerd tech 
sports talk, and all that at blackhollywoodlive.com, which is extremely dope because you should definitely check them out from week to week. And if you don't get enough there, you can hit them up on youtube.com slash blackhollywoodlive. Now, I know you guys might not get the full scope of Valiant, or you might not be Valiant fans, but I have left the links down below for you to watch the summit yourself. Check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you, you know, if you're feeling where Valiant is going, if you're feeling like Britannia, if you're feeling the new Bloodshot series, if you're feeling like the, the uh, you know, the divinity and all that, let me know what you think about Valiant as a whole. And also let me think or get some speculation from you guys on their Sony deal. Because one thing that we didn't get into during this Valiant Summit that I was really waiting for, because you know I'm a, I'm a big movie and TV guy, is we unfortunately didn't get a lot of news, or basically any, from the TV side or the Sony deal. So we really don't know where that's at. We know there's development going on, there's writing and stuff, but nothing just yet. So anyway, you know I gotta move on and there's some good old Michael Keaton goodness that. So anyway, next up, is the new film starring Michael Keaton, Sanaa Lathan, and American Assassin. Now I know the name American Assassin sounds like it's a 90s film, but this film is looking extremely good. It's, it sounds 90s, but it's bringing in the, the new flavor, you know, as far as like the, the picture quality, the effects, the stunts, everything is looking spot on. And Michael Keaton is showing promise i mean the guy looks like he's acting at the top of his game in this trailer and he looks like he's taking it extremely serious and we know that michael keaton can be crazy and i think this role is going to need you to be like crazy a good killer type of crazy but crazy and you get you know you get this trailer that gives us a good setup into why this young man wants to enter this assassin program and a good setup as to why he feels this way why he's begun his training and so now lathan is like yo hey i'm glad you down for this let's get you in the program so it's it's interesting to see this kind of role because usually we get this kind of like reluctant recruit kind of thing, but this dude is definitely down. He's been training and, you know, getting his skills on and showing with the gun and all that. So he's definitely down to get inside of an assassin organization. And she brings him to Michael Keaton. And Michael Keaton is like, oh, oh, you're going to learn a day. Kill me. You think you can slice a man's throat right here like this? Well, in the movies. So I like the program and I like how the trailer leaves up a lot to us to kind of figure out and wonder about because it looks like everything we got in the trailer was probably from like the first act um which is a good thing because i don't want to get spoiled in something like this especially since it's something i know it's based off a you know book but it's something kind of new to me because i'm not a big novel guy i'm a graphic novel guy but not a super big novel guy but it's cool to see how this program works. I'd love to see the inner workings of that. Maybe if there were more people, you know, involved before him or his other recruits that are with him and stuff, this could be very, very fun. Now, one thing that I need in a movie like this because I'm a big 90s action guy is- Kill people who need to be killed. He says in the, in the movie, in the trailer, he says, we kill people that need to be killed. Look. That's it, that's all I need, that's it. You got my you got my money, let's do some car chases and let's shoot some people in the head. Let's roll. <laughs> that's my type of movie. So, hey guys, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think about this because I think, I think I'm down for this. I, I'm not sure if it might be like run out to the theater, but it, it could definitely be a dope Saturday matinee kind of joint. So anyway, hop down in the comments. Let's get it on and holla at each other and talk about this good old American assassin, this good old 90s resurrection action flick. And I'll holla at you on the other side. Next up, and last but not least, is the comments from James Gunn on Guardians of the Galaxy. He says that, hey, I'm not only directing one and two, but I'm also gonna direct a third film. And I wanted to gauge you guys, you know, interaction and response and opinions on this because this is kind of like, you know, a conversation, you know, me and you get together, we talk about movies once a day or we talk about, you know, anime or whatever it is. And we, you know, see how we feel about this. How do you guys feel about him directing a third film? Do you think he'll be burnt out? Do we kind of need to see number two first? Like if number two is dope, are you gonna be like, oh, I, or are you like, hey man, 
yo, look, you, you're doing too much. Pump your brakes, James. Pump your brakes. Uh, for me, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a real good thing. You get to see one director's full range of ideas concerning this topic. He gets to open the story, close the story. Of course, it'll be, you know, open for other things, but he'll be able to close his arc, I guess you could say. So similar to how, you know, a writer takes on a comic book for, you know, 10 issue run, 12 issue run, whatever it is, 20 issues, whatever it is, he gets to start and in his story concerning the Guardians. And I think this is a good thing. And we've gotten some first reactions from the Guardians of the Galaxy and people seem on board with this one just like they were on board with the last one. Now, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some haters out there saying it's not as good as the first one. What, else, what is ever gonna be as good as the first time, man? The first time you have anything, you never had it before, so it's super dope, of course. And then when you have it the second time, you're like, yo, man, this is still dope, but it'll never beat the first time. So anyway, I digress. Let me know what you think about him directing the third film because I'm thinking that this will be a good way for him to cap off his story, bookend it just nicely, and then leave it open for the next director to take, you know, to take them on their next journey. You know what I'm saying? Like the first three movies will be the journey that James Gunn puts them on, and the next two or three movies will be the journey that XYZ director puts them on. So let me know what you think about that. And also, Screen Rant put like a bit of a spoiler in their uh, report about their press screening saying that there were four post credits in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, James Gunn said that's not true because there's actually five. Now, I don't know whether it's four or five, there might be three or six or seven or 10, but let me know what you think about so many post credit scenes. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think like, yo, why can't we just put this in the movie? Or because like a post credit scene is a nice little tag at the end, like, ooh, wow. But when you have four of them, dude, that's like an extra, I don't know, like an extra 10, 12 minutes of footage. But I mean, who knows? They might be very integral to the expanding universe or the expanding galaxy that they have going on with Guardians or with Avengers or with Spider-Man or what have you. And that could end up being extremely important to the overall story of the MCU. So before I see it, I can't really dog it, but it just it just seems like, dude, five post credits is a lot, like a lot. You gonna have people in there two hours after the film is over. But that is my piece, I'm done. And it's Friday, you guys gotta get out of here. So before I bounce, I gotta tell y'all to head up thatnerdsoul.com, that's right. All my videos are right there and you can check them out from the oldest, the newest, the latest, the greatest and drop me a line and hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player and don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe and share that nerd soul. That is right, there is no way that I can tell people that you like what you are watching. And my shout outs gotta go to LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart and please, man, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And don't leave directly after Guardians of the Galaxy. Peace.